الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اسلام is a complete way of life it is the complete religion and allah the almighty says in surah ali imran in the deen in the allah al islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the religion with allah is islam meaning there is nothing there is no other religion that's accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in Surah Al-Ma'idah, الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَاتْمَمْتُمْ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَدَيْتَ لَكُمْ إِسْلَامَ دِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that this day I've perfected for you your religion and I've completed my favor upon you. And I am pleased as Islam as your religion. In those two verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illustrates for us the completeness of the religion of Islam. And that completeness is in many ways in which we interact with one another and our relationship with our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And <clears throat> Allah the Almighty has made clear for us in the Quran, all throughout the Quran. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spoke with revelation about everything that a servant needs, a servant, a Muslim servant who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the individual Muslim needs in order to have success and worship his Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing is left out. And through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's revelation, the Qur'an, and through the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the perfection of Islam, Allah makes clear for us the way in which we can give our rights to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the right of Allah is to be worshipped alone. As the Prophet sallallahu said in the hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal, وَحَقَ اللَّهَ لِبَادَيْنْ يَعْبُدُوهُ وَلَا يُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْنْ And the right of Allah upon his serve is that he worships him alone and he does not ascribe any partners with him. And Islam and the perfection of Islam and the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet also show us how we can strengthen our ties and strengthen our relationship with the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala and how we can rectify our lives as individuals and establish and strengthen our relations with our families and with our society and how we can improve our manners and the way in which we act, interact with one another with Muslim and non-Muslim societies and so I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us all with beneficial knowledge and to practice it and to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and benefit from his favors he's bestowed upon us as societies and as individuals and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rectify all the affairs of the Muslimin in every Muslim country which is going through turmoil and struggle and help us to come back to the Quran and the Sunnah and show and illustrate for the rest of humanity the perfection of Islam and not our own imperfections.